हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता अनदर ग्रेट डे अनदर गुड क्वेश्चन बाय राजीव कौशिक सर तो सर क्वेश्चन है आप ही के राजीव होलिस्टिक राजीव डॉट ब्लॉक स्पॉट डॉट कॉम पे एंड द क्वेश्चन इज हेलो सर आई एम सेलिंग ए सेकंड ऑफिसर आई एम रिलेक्टिंग टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन ग्रुप एज अ टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग चैनल टू इन्वेस्ट इन एस आई आर डिस्कस वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली एंड आई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द बेसिक एस्पेक्ट्स तो दिस गाइज न्यू इज नॉट बींग एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक एस्पेक्ट्स सो माई क्वेश्चन स्टार्ट हेयर Sir, I have been investing in SIP through my Kotak Bank app from my NRA account, and I'm looking forward to increase the amount gradually. I have downloaded my Cams app, and it shows all my mutual fund SIP in that app, and all other options for investment. Now my questions are as follows. So all those people who want to invest, understand this question very well. What needs to be done with SIP, which are being managed through my Kotak Bank app? So, sir, second is is my Cams. is same platform as as cams online which you suggest for investment your advice will be really helpful for me to understand the very basic of investment and we are here for you ji sir okay we have understood this largely mutual funds there are companies which are called amc asset management companies they are 47 48 right now these four companies they do not do the paperwork the daily transaction of buying selling so much coming so much going all the paperwork and transferring the uh, units in your name and all these they are done by something called rta registrar and transfer agent it is not the name of sulzar rta it is registrar and transfer agents there are two of them one is cams i think the full form is uh, computerized asset, asset management system or something and another is k fintech or carvi financial technologies k fintech so about 17 to 20 funds are handled by cams and remaining 27 28 are handled by k fintech now if you want to invest you can go to any of the 47 mutual funds directly to the office in your city or online by your uh, computer or whichever way you want or you can go to any of these two camps and carvi and go to their office and say out of your 20 mutual funds i want to invest in this fund in this amc in this fund this scheme similarly you can go to kfintech and if you like any of their funds and invest with them directly so when i say word directly means when you are going to them you do not have any person in between you have the fund directly facing you like you and me so you are not paying any extra commission to anybody you are paying a minimum expense charges which is let's say 0.8 to 1% in equity funds which you are paying directly it is between you and the this thing now if anyone else say a individual near your house or a company near your house or these banks they help you do this investment so they become the agents and now that expense ratio goes up it goes up by almost 0.8 to 1% so if earlier you were paying 1% now it becomes 1.8 to 2% right so now you have to decide if you are investing through kotak bank app it means you are investing through your kotak bank they have done your kyc because you were their client so you have got the advantage of that there is nothing wrong with that i in fact recommend that you should go through a distributor even if you have to pay that 1% extra at least in the beginning in beginning means till you collect about some 40 50 lakhs till that time you can do you can tell them when to stop your sip you can tell them to increase your sip at least there's somebody whom you can inform by email and he does it for you there is nothing wrong with that even for that 1% extra chalta hai you have taken a service and you are paying for it no problem because when i have seen that today this word direct direct investing with the fund is actually causing a lot of damage to the mariners especially mariners why because these people they keep running from pillar to post getting the kyc done and some kyc is acceptable by one amc some is acceptable by another one and sometimes they want a in person verification it's a hodgepodge 
so either you if you want to do it yourself or a diy system which is called which you want to say like i want to invest in so and so company hdfc flexi cap growth direct so if you want to do direct you go to cam site again cam's office and do your kyc and start investing from there or you go to hdfc office and you start investing through them otherwise if you are doing it through your bank then most probably 99.9% they are your brokers so they will not sell you sell you the direct option they will sell you the regular growth option not direct growth option there's a difference and the difference will be that 1% so if you are doing through that there is no harm absolutely no harm continue for some more time when you start understanding the everything you can expand your number of funds also so the, all the kyc will also be done in after that you create a user login id either on the rta websites or on the fund amc website create a, so because you will put your pan email address and folio number your entire thing will be mapped you will be able to see all your holdings like this gentleman has been seeing now if you like you can stop that sip right stop that sip and in the same folio i repeat in the same folio number you can online start the sip in direct format same fund same folio but growth direct always use the option growth whether it is through the distributor agent or through yourself but growth will always be there not uh regular no 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 not the dividend option which is today called idcw no idcw always growth and the option will now be if you go to a distributor it will be regular with a higher expense ratio if you want to do it on your own it will be direct with 1% 0.81 less so what you are doing whatever i have replied in the reply uh, on the blog is open to you but in my opinion if more and more people do it through the bank there is no harm in it because you are investing little amount 1% of 5000 is what 50 rupees yes one important thing is that some banks for every transaction they charge you some of them charge you 2000 rupees some charge you 500 so please be mindful of that if they are charging like that in addition to the 1%. expense ratio in that case stop the sip from that and like i have said proceed directly because small small amount suppose you making six uh, sips in a particular month so that means you are paying six times you are paying 200 in multiply by six for a beginner it will be a lot of money even for a senior officer who has money <laughs> but first time he is doing it will be a lot of money so in case if you have got still query some query with respect to this you can please mention in the comment section and we will try to get you the answer with this all i can say is jai hind jai bharat jai mata